In this video, we'll be constructing a square that is inscribed in a circle. So some notes to start off, an inscribed square is going to have four inscribed angles. That means the vertex of each angle is on the circle and the rays of the angle are basically chords of the circle. We're gonna start this process by drawing the diameter. And this is an application of the perpendicular bisector construction. If you forget how to do that, you can go and find that video within this playlist. All right, so I'm going to start by drawing a diameter in here. So we see the center is marked. We need to draw the diameter going through. I chose to draw my diameter horizontal. You could do vertical or diagonal, it doesn't matter. Now I'm gonna take those two endpoints and that's gonna be two of the four vertices of the square. We have to find the other two. And I'm just gonna do the perpendicular bisector construction with this line segment, basically with the diameter. So I'm gonna find a marking that's more than halfway through. I'm going to reverse this whole process. And now I'm going to use my straight edge to connect where those two arcs intersected. And now here's the part where sometimes people make mistakes. We are not looking for this intersection. We are not looking for this one. We're looking for where the perpendicular bisector actually crossed the circle. Because remember, if these are inscribed angles, the vertex of each of these angles has to be on the circle, not outside of it. Well, remember what we're doing here, we have to make a square. So now use your straight edge to connect the four points that are on the circle. So you have the two from the diameter and you have the two from the perpendicular bisector. And now you can see that you have your square inscribed within the given circle. 